Hi everyone. Welcome to November. Here in New Zealand it is the 1st um, of November and if you look at it numerologically it, we are number one of the 11th month and 2018 adds up to 11. So pretty magical day. Um, there are some other magical high powered high frequency portal openings this month we have the ninth which you add that up with the 11th month which makes 11 and again 11th year very powerful numbers uh, very powerful portal opening to new higher frequencies so um, my suggestion is on these dates, including today being the first, um, on these dates, if you consciously are aware that actually there's a portal of higher frequencies that are open, you will help draw those frequencies in. It's just about awareness, that's all. So again, the ninth is another one, which is... Um, which is a Friday, Friday the 9th, that's not tomorrow, but next Friday, uh, the 9th, and the 11th, the 10th as well, actually, being a 1, and the 11th, of course, 11, 11, 11, um, so that's actually next Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, we're holding an event here those, those days, so that's going to be pretty magical, and uh, hopefully we will get contact. Um, in fact, I'm sure we will. So again, you know, if you look at the numbers, you will see that there are other significant dates in this month, like the 22 is another one. Um, so that's all you've got to do is just focus on the numbers and at each one of these high powerful number dates, there is a portal open to new higher frequencies, new 5D frequencies. So it's about literally being aware and allowing yourself to feel those frequencies and feel it come into your body, feel it come into your consciousness. So it's been a long time coming, but I thought I would do a mini tarot reading for the month, actually, this time. Because I don't seem to be able to do them that regularly at the moment. So I thought if I can try and do one at the beginning of each month for the whole month, and then you can um, watch it on YouTube or if you find it on my Facebook, perhaps save it as a video. You can watch it as the month progresses and go back over it and watch it again if you need to. Um, I will just say that if anyone wants a more in-depth personal reading with me, uh, they can actually find more information about that on my website which is www.ginnyjoneshealing.com and if you go to the services page there are several services on there uh, one of them being the tarot readings also quantum light activations and light um, frequency reiki healing and also house clearings and spirit clearings, soul rescue and things like that. But you can see it all on there. And on the other pages, I've got a page about the coaching that I do. And also I've got a page about uh, the light code uh, drawings and tattoo designs and things like that that I do. So I will just get on with this tarot reading. So this week... So as this is a Thursday, we're going to, and it's the first, so we can roll this over if you like till next Thursday. And then as that goes on until the end of the month. So this week, um, there are lots of new opportunities coming for you and you're being guided to have the courage to actually go forward with them, with them, but go for the ones that feel right. Not ones that anyone else says that you should do or anything like that, but go for the opportunities that actually feel right to you. And just remember this saying, all that glitters isn't gold. So sometimes it may look like it's absolutely wonderful and it's going to be amazing. And someone else is telling you that it's going to be absolutely brilliant. And you might just have that bit of a gut feeling down here. Don't ignore the gut feeling. 
Focus on your own intuition, what is right for you personally. No matter what anyone else says, because there are opportunities coming and it is up to you to decipher, decide which one is the right one for you. Next, there's more money coming for you. And this is part of to do with these opportunities. It also tells me that um, to tell you that uh, if you focus on money just being an energy, then you will uh, realize that it's not something to hold on to. If we give out, we get back. The energy we give out, we get back also. So it's about high vibes, focusing on money as an energy. You will also get money back. Those opportunities also are going to lead to more money coming. And it's all, uh, you've got the universe that's come out with this. So it's actually saying, if, you're, if you've got any money worries, don't stress over it. Actually give it to the universe. Get them to deal with it. Get the universe to deal with it. Remembering that the universe always has your back. No matter what happens, even if at the time it feels like it's not nice or you're going through some trouble or you're having some hassles or whatever, all of that is happening for a reason and eventually it will come round to you actually getting back on that right path and things working out for you. When things happen in our lives, it's to show us that that isn't right for us and actually that there's something better coming. Sometimes we get ourselves into these things because we haven't followed our own intuition and then we get the, the lesson that we uh, to learn. But there is more money coming for you. So if you are stressed about money, give it to the universe and just focus that actually everything is going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely looked after. You are in abundance flow. So it's about keeping that high vibration, that high frequency to keep that abundance going and trust, 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 trust that all is going to be okay and it will be. That's a deep knowing. At the moment we get the wobbles and like, oh my God, you know, dear, it's not going to, uh, what, what, how am I going to cope, blah, blah, blah. Then you're actually giving that out to the universe and that's what you're going to get back. But if you trust fully that absolutely everything is in alignment and everything is going to work out well. There's something better coming around the corner. That's exactly what's going to happen. You are manifesting your own future. Remember that by the way you think, the way you feel, the way your consciousness is, the way you act with other people, the whole shebang. You are a vib vibra vibratory machine, if you like, organic machine that is interacting constantly with the frequencies that are around you so it's what you give out please remember that because your life will change if you can keep that uplifted feeling and fully trust so you've actually got there is only one way forward for you and it is the correct way for you so again it's going back to that intuition it's also a fate card this card so it means that actually there is a lot more going on energetically around this situation and you will be kind of shown the way forward all right and you've got manifest that's come out with it the light is shining trust your instincts to manifest your desires the best version of you is emerging so again trusting in yourself trust 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 in yourself and trust 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 in the universe and your team your spiritual team and you've got actually you will be looking ahead um, there is a change coming for you. Uh, so you will be looking ahead. You will be looking about traveling towards the sea, towards the coast. You'll be looking about movement, holidays, um, journeys, going to visit people. There are, is also a change in life coming for you. It could be a possible move to somewhere either across water or near water. Um, but there is journeys towards water. So it's something to do with water and journeys towards it. It might be a day out. Um, it might be, um, you know, that you're actually going to move a bit closer to the water. Or it might be that you're going to move closer to the lake or you're going to go on um, a, a mini holiday or a holiday overseas somewhere. But it's, it's that everything is moving forward for you. So there are... When you are doing this trip, there is actually things to learn on that, whether it's about yourself or about 
um, your path forward. But you, it's, it's part of your learning as well. So um, enjoy that trip. Um, you've got Evolve that's come with it. The green light is on and the time is now. Release anything that has held you back. This is your life. Be ready to evolve. Even if it means moving on, it's time. It's time to actually make changes in your life that are good for you. And it's not about being selfish. It's about being totally aligned with your own soul, with your own self. You're still connected with your family, you know, and, and everything else. But it's about being totally centered and aligned with yourself. So that was week one. We're now going to go on to week two. So for some of you, this will be, a, uh, it's almost like whether you've just lost someone recently, an older male, or whether um, memories of uh, a past relative, it, this is definitely a male, um, it's coming back to you. And this is someone, someone who you, you know, I, I want to say like a father figure or someone you looked up to. It could be an uncle, a father, a friend. Someone that you looked up to and someone who you could go to to talk to and they're perhaps not in your life anymore. They are still around you, I want to say, because they are making their presence felt. But this will also mean that you will have memories of them coming up or you will um, feel them around you. They don't want you to feel grief for them. They want you to celebrate their passing in a way because they've got they've actually gone home and they're in a place now where they will be able to see visit come and visit you constantly if they wish or if you call them they can hear you if you want to talk to them they can hear you they won't be able to answer you unless you're a medium and you can hear them um, but they don't want you to be in grief they want you to Carry on living your life, carry on evolving, carry on having joy, you know, our fun and and living the life like they would want you to live. So if you can remember that, if you're feeling in grief at the moment, don't allow the grief to consume you. Obviously, it's a process, but don't allow it to consume you. Think of it from the bigger picture that they would want you to carry on with your life and they will be with you they will be watching over you if, if it was someone close that you you know you used to go for to for advice um then you can still ask for that advice from them and they will help in any way they possibly can to get that alignment and that message back to you it might be in just how things unfold in your life. Um, it might, it's, I don't feel it's going to be that they're directly going to speak to you. Uh, it might be, but I don't feel it's that. I actually feel that they will help from their point of view in an energetic way to try and get things moving for you or to lift you up. Or um, they might show you signs through other things, like you might hear a song come on the radio. I often hear a song that reminds me of my mum and dad come on the radio. And I know it's them just saying we're here. You might have words jump out in a book that you're reading or a magazine or a paper that you're reading. You might have uh, signs in nature, like something comes right up close to you or something like that. Um, but they, they will try and get little signs to you. And you might find a picture drops off the wall. Um, something like that. So, so just look out for those things. But don't be too much in grief. Allow the emotions to come up. I'm not telling you to stop um, allowing that natural process. But just remember that it doesn't have to consume every part of your life. It is a grieving process. And they are still around you. Um, if you can actually remember all that, then life is going to charge ahead. In fact, you might even find that, um, you know, you're not grieving too much and that everything else takes over and life's so busy and, you, and it's just full on ahead. Having faith. 
Faith has come out with this. So let your faith be bigger than your fear. Have trust that everything is as it is meant to be right now. And that is so true. Everything is as it's meant to be right now. Everything, absolutely everything. So because you're charging ahead now and you may not have actually spent time within yourself and, and it, everything has become so busy on the outside. Um, remember, this is week two of November. You know, life has just consumed you and you're so busy that actually you might have something come in your life that, that turns things around, that makes you absolutely stop and take notice and of your own self. Um, so it's, it'll be something in life that actually makes you, turns things around. So that busyness. Um, I want to say be careful when you're walking. Be careful about accidents or stuff like that. Because you don't want any broken bones. Because I'm, I'm feeling like the universe, if you're not careful, is going to bring something in that is going to stop you and make you have a rest. All right? So just remember that. That's week two. Uh, but enchantment has come around this. So it's not going to be, you know, I'm just saying about being careful about accidents. Um, enchantments come with it. It's actually a godsend that you are pulled up and to take heed and to take steps back into yourself to rest, rejuvenate, look after yourself. Have some R&R &R if you can. Spend time meditating. Get back into that alignment with yourself and your inner being. Because things are so busy on the outside here that that can take over, consume us and everything else. And, and it's really important that we spend quiet times actually within ourselves. Time to rest. If you can, take a break. Uh, again, meditate. Um, this card actually means that you've been doing too much and it's time to actually look after you now. So, um, it's funny that this has come out, paradise has come out. So, and this is actually a message from your departed loved ones. We are with you always as we hear your words and, um, watch you tenderly from above. We love you. So in those quiet times, you may be um, thinking about, again, if you've been in, had grief or popping up, those memories popping up from someone that you've lost. This is all part of the grieving process. It might not be that you're floods of emotions, that, but you just have little memories popping up um, of perhaps something happened between you and that person that you perhaps feel a bit guilty about or, or um, you know, or that you did something to put them in a, a difficult position or whatever it is, even if it's something totally simple, uh, even if you had some bad words, it's about forgiveness and they are with you and they have, they have no grudges, absolutely no grudges once they've passed on. Um, and they're just a little reminder that they're with you again. All right. They, they, they are here, but for you to take care of yourself, look after your health, look after your being. And then you've got um, things coming better again. So you actually, that's time of spending time with yourself, having a rest and listening to your body is really, really important because it's given you that um, boost of energy, uh, that rebirth, if you like, to then carry on because things are going to get better for you. That grief is going to go um, those memories again it's a bit like a wave actually these things come and go for us to release and then things are up there again and then we have a big shift so we might go down again and it's a bit like that as we're releasing old stuff out of the body but remember you are perfect as you are there is nothing wrong with you there is nothing wrong with how your life is right now it is meant to be the way it is this is about you walking away with your hopes, dreams and wishes. So you've got awaken that's come up with it. So people you enter your life for a reason, some for a season, others for a lifetime. Look with wisdom at this situation and decide who is there for your higher good. So this is all about relationships. Week two seems to be about relationships. Remembering people that have passed 
um, but also who is there for your higher good? Who who is there genuinely looking, um, you know, treating you well, um, treating themselves well? You know, who is there for your highest good? If and, and again, I'm going to go back to your own gut feelings, your own instincts. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. So we're going to go on to week three. There is something in your life or somebody in your life or something in your life where you're, you've, you're coming up to about had a guts full of the situation and you're, you're thinking that you're about ready to walk away. There are two choices coming up. You're also being guided to align because your emotions are a little bit up and down. Master yourself to allow alignment to occur. Stay strong and focused as you walk your path. So again, it's about your emotions. They're going to be a little bit up and down. One minute you're going to feel okay about the situation. Then the next minute it's going to be, oh my God, I've had enough of this. I, you know, I just want something different. But there, there is two choices coming up. You do not have to make a decision straight away. So you're being guided to reassess the situation. Keep reassessing. You've got legacy card come out with it. The choices we make in life create the legacy we leave behind. What mark will you make? So this is about you being the best you can be. The best person you can be in all situations in your life. Um, and there are two pathways ahead and it is entirely up to you which you take. You don't have to make any major decisions right now keep reassessing things because everything is unfolding in divine timing perfectly as it needs to so there is a situation going on around you and you're being guided to not get involved you're undecided about what to do don't do anything yet just just again keep reassessing it's almost like a, a reminder of that previous card keep reassessing the situation Take a step out of it or take the emotion out of it and you will be able to see things much more clearly. Um, you've also got the protection card come out with it. So protect yourself from negative energy and harmful environments. You are a warrior on the path to enlightenment. Trust your instincts and be strong. Again, it goes all back to actually following your own gut instincts. The next card out is about your confidence. Have confidence to move forward. This is what holds everyone back. Have the confidence to move forward. If you're really struggling confidence with your confidence, take tiny steps first out of your comfort zone. That way you will build your own self-empowerment and... Um, you will actually get that feel good factor to move forward with whatever it is that you're wanting to do. So that indecision is partly to do with your confidence, right? I'm still going to say you don't need to make a decision just yet because life is still moving ahead. But try and build your confidence up because it's going to actually help you in many other areas of your life. And serenity came out with this. Avoid the drama that is near you and seek a path of peace, calmness and serenity. Take a walk, breathe deeply and be still. So uh, don't allow, a lot of this is about dramas going on around. Don't allow the dramas of what's going on around you. And I'll quickly pop this in now. It's just popped into my head. The post that I just put out today on the 1st of November um, it's worth looking at. It's all about staying centred even if there is drama going on around you. Staying centred, at peace, calm within yourself. You will help change the situation just energetically by being that way in that situation. So I'm going to go on to week four. After a bit of a turbulent time, things are going to become a lot smoother for you and your family. And when I say turbulent time, it's been quite an emotional roller coaster last few days, drifting into the week before as well. For not just yourself, but family members, family dynamics. Um, 
So things are going to become a lot smoother. And again, Awaken card, which came up just now. People enter your life for a reason, some for a season and others for a lifetime. Look with wisdom at this situation and decide who is there for your highest good. So you're being guided, really, to look at what's going on around you. You don't need to get involved in it. Sometimes, and most of the majority of the time, actually, it's stuff that's going on for other people is their stuff. It's not yours. You don't need to get involved. You can be a support, but you don't need to get emotionally involved. Um, next card out. Remembering this is the last week of November. You've got, because things are actually now finally be calming down and becoming a lot smoother, uh, you've got, it's like a release of, uh, of good, feel-good emotions coming up. And harmony. Embrace relationship and career opportunities. The choices you must make will create harmony in your heart and your future. And then you've got the world. The world card means things really opening up energetically for you. It means luck, wisdom, the world's at the palm of your hand, new opportunities coming, trips, things really opening up. So communication all around the world, whether it's through the internet or whether you physically going travelling or for work or, or for um, vacation. Um, either. It just means that things are really going to open up energetically and lots of opportunities coming in. So you've got purpose with it. Bring fulfilment and happiness into your life to inspire and empower others. Ask, what is my purpose in life? What can I do to make the world a better place? So it's about thinking about what you can do to make your personal life better, your family life better, and your environment, your actual physical health, whatever it is, but your space around. Again, every time you work on something to do with yourself, you are actually energetically and often physically working on um, uh, things that are in a wider circle. It spreads out. So like if, you, if say your family see you really taking care of yourself, um, you know, going to the gym or, or walking, doing more exercise, whatever it is, taking care of your physical body, taking care of your spiritual self, taking care of your mind and the way you think. It has a knock on effect with people around you. So there is good family times coming up, more money also coming into the family and you've got clarity. See this situation with open eyes, the truth to enlighten, the truth Use truth to enlighten you and make wise choices about your career and love life. So there are opportunities this month. Remembering those powerful portals. It's important, if you can, to say, stay positive, stay uplifted. Be thankful and grateful for the smallest things in life. Just even having a roof over your head, a bed to sleep in. Even if there's nothing else going on, be grateful and thankful, thankful for all that you have in your life. Um, and this will create that vibration of thankfulness and blessings and all those wonderful things that we all like to come, have, come into our lives. So I hope you've enjoyed this reading. I'm sorry I haven't been doing them more often. I am going to put this on YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, on Instagram, I will put a little mini bit of this, probably with a link to go and watch it on YouTube if you want to. So please have an awesome November. It's actually an exciting month. Many, many, many opportunities coming. Stay in that high frequency and roll, ride that roller coaster because there will be a few ups and downs, but we can all ride it. Every time you have a down moment, I always call them, okay, I'm going for a shift. And when I know if I'm going for a shift, I'm going to come out the other side, a higher vibration, a higher frequency, as long as I've stayed in that alignment within myself. Don't get involved in the drama that's going on around you. 
stay at peace, stay calm and lots of love from me. And please go to my website and have a look at all the other services that I have. And if you're interested in a personal reading, then you will find a buy now button and also ways to contact me on my website, www.ginnyjoneshealing.com. Have an awesome, awesome November. Beautiful souls. Much love. Bye for now.